Hi, I'm Salah Golestanian and this is a short video explaining our responsive Smart CSS Framework Skin Pack. This is a commercial skin pack that comes in three colors, red, blue and black. I'll spend a few minutes uh, explaining the benefits of um, responsive framework and how it can help a um, single set of content in your .NET new portal uh, to display uh, seamlessly across devices, mobile, tablet and desktops. You can find this commercial package either on solaro.com and uh, just go to store and you should find it very quickly and it shows the uh, three uh, skin variation and also uh, we do have a uh, ability uh, to create new custom colors uh, and all you need to do is tell us um, what color uh, you're after and um, uh, the Solaro team can create um, uh, the new color for you for about under fifty dollar. It's also available on .NET Nuke store um, so just go ahead and type in responsive CSS and we should come up and um, same um, details is available there so you, you can also purchase it at uh, store uh, at .netnew.com if you prefer. We do like the responsive approach because it's designing once, displaying on all devices and operating systems and it's gradually evolving so you will find that in the, f in the near future we will have upgrades to this skin whenever necessary and the upgrade is obviously free uh, all the way for uh, .NET New 6.x uh, whatever it is and um, as it moves to .NET New 7 uh, if there are no major um, changes obviously it will work uh, carry on working because it's um, using the HTML uh, approach which means that I I in the future versions theoretically speaking uh, just um, uh, uploading the skin pack will be rendering the uh, CSS files um, and the skin carries on working it is tested in DNN6, the source code is available for the skin and also uh, it's, it has been extensively tested uh, cross browsers, cross platforms uh, on iOS, uh, Android uh, as well. You can view a demo of the skin uh, and uh, in Chrome or your favorite browser and um, I just quickly go and show you uh, what are the advantages of um, this approach. Uh, as you can see, if you take a full uh, width view of um, skin uh, in a browser, um, it works fine. So basically, it deals with desktop, large screens, uh, TV um, style um, browsers. Uh, and as you slowly make the browser uh, width smaller, uh, it carries on dealing with it well and then suddenly at certain widths uh, the content will stack up differently and uh, therefore uh, let's say you're looking at it on a iPhone or a typical Android smartphone uh, which is around this kind of size uh, it still uh, behaves pretty well um, you can see all the content, all the links uh, in the foot area and uh, uh, what happens to the menu becomes a little icon when you click it uh, you can see uh, the various um, uh, other uh, main tabs so you can go into it and here we can see the sub tabs as well let's say here is available. We're using Telerik as the menu, so it's pretty uh, well cross-browser uh, compliant. Let's look at the demo in Firefox, for example. Uh, let's look at uh, another color, let's say blue version, and go ahead and make it smaller. Uh, same beh behavior. Click on that, and you can go ahead and see the sub-menus and it works pretty well. 
customization service is available for this skin so you can pick a color from here or even send us a logo and say please match the color to certain um, color in your logo and team will go ahead and create um, uh, a custom uh, package for you from from around hundred fifty dollar and obviously we can help you uh, to do other module level uh, skinning um, obviously it would be um, on an hourly basis but um, you'll find that our ramp rates are pretty competitive the package comes as a zip file single zip file which you need to unpack and when you unpack it you'll find the container the module to install and the skin package uh, in there there's a word file to explaining it all and there are three uh, folders, one for each color. In a typical folder there is a container, there is a module to install and the skin pack here. And the zip file is the one which you need to upload in your port. To install, log in as, as host and go to host extensions. Use the install extension wizard and uh, in, a no, in a regular way upload the various uh, zip files that I've mentioned. Uh, in. There's another in short uh, readme file here. So go ahead and read that and all the steps are uh, described. So you obviously need to install the little module there. Open the skin pack, install the skin zip and open the container, install the uh, container pack. Once you've done that you need to obviously go to uh, site settings at the admin uh, pages and uh, set your uh, title description keyword as usual in the appearance section which is pretty important upload your logo. Logo needs to be um, obviously and match the space available so you need to cut it in size um, put um, choose choose the um, skin from the list uh, choose the container from the list also use the inner uh, skin type for your edit skin and an appropriate um, uh, container as well once that done business as usual and you have the relevant uh, available placeholders to add your content into various panes available uh, in your site. Obviously some of them are uh, inside the footer area so you have variations of um, uh, structure to apply um, content in the footer and the main part as well as the uh, header area uh, to match the uh, skin design. We have realized that most of our older skins in our store are using the traditional uh, method um, and standard uh, DNA skinning. Uh, so we are planning to produce at least one of these packages per month uh, to keep up with the um, requests that our customers have for um, having the um, skins uh, done in such a way that uh, delivers to both mobile, tablet and um, desktops. Please ask us any questions you have at either uh, salora.com or store.netnew.com uh, and uh, we'll be happy to uh, help um, or answer any queries you may have.